What's up guys, Charlie McGing from Charlie McGing Fitness and Nutrition and today let's talk about whether uh, meat like chicken, beef etc like muscle tissue basically that you're eating um, is the best type of protein and will increase your muscle growth. So in the if it fits your macros type community, basically um, they don't really, um, they think that all types of protein basically are the same. If you have that amount of protein throughout the day, then you're gonna get the same amount of muscle growth um, independent of what type of protein source it is. So, um, I mean, I don't particularly agree with this, I agree with the fact that the total amount of protein throughout the day is important and it's going to contribute to um, factors such as fat loss and um, you know recovery rates and things like that. But also um, with um, this kind of theory that I'm going to give to you now, it kind of um, backs up my own experience of um, what it's like. So basically in my experience from um, drinking whey protein and eating meat and having you know protein from only vegetable sources as well I find I gain the most size when I have meat like chicken breast I have the um, the best recovery when I have meat like chicken breast beef etc and um, I get leaner as well when I eat um, that stuff rather than sources like whey protein or you know getting it from vegetables basically so there's a couple of things that might contribute to this uh, I'm not saying this is uh, the same to you for you but um, this is what it's like for me so some of the theories that might kind of back this up is that one um, the bioavailability of different protein sources is different so if you kind of research bio bioavailability online Basically, um, what that is, is the ability of your body to uptake the protein and utilize it as fuel and you know separate the amino acids and basically use them. So the most bioavailable protein sources are meat. So if you look online, um, you'll actually find that these are the most bioavailable sources, the easiest and the most effective to assimilate. So, um, and they found that vegetable sources are not, they're considerably less effective in terms of that. So that might be one of the reasons that it makes a difference. The second reason is, um, what well, might be the fact that meat simulates the production of IGF-1 a lot better than other sources. Now, um, from my other video, you know that IGF-1 is stimulated by high protein diets. So it might just be the fact that meat is more bioavailable, so you get um, more protein utilized, and so um, IGF-1 is increased. Also, it might just be the fact that it is um, the cells of an animal, and animals, um, you know, they do contain a bit of IGF-1, because, um, you know, like if you're a mammal, you basically have IGF-1. but. Um, I'm not sure if that's actually like effective because it's animal IGF-1, not human IGF-1. So I'm not sure if that would actually make a difference. But studies show that meat does increase the IGF-1 more than um, vegetable sources. So the third thing, um, and this is like a big theory, I'm not saying this is absolutely true. It's just kind of like how I think about it. And <clears throat> if you think about muscle and you think okay this is this is what we're trying to build up here and you think okay if you've got an animal and you've got its muscle and you eat that and you break basically you break it down and absorb it what you're doing is um, you're breaking down whatever that muscle is made of so so if you eat a chicken breast um, it's gonna be made of like it's the most similar thing structurally and chemically that you can eat to your own muscle tissue. So 
it would make sense that eating muscle tissue, breaking it down and assimilating it and absorbing it would help to increase the, um, the build up of your own muscle tissue because um, if you think it's broken down then that's going to be similar like blocks if you were similar chemicals that are going to be used to make up that muscle again so that's kind of like how I think about it I'm not sure you know how scientifically true that is but that's kind of just what you know I thought maybe you agree with that maybe you don't but um, I want to let I want you to let me know in the comments below if you agree with that or not and um, yeah so if you like this video click like if um, you want to see more subscribe on my Facebook page that's it guys and I'll see you next time